What's up, peeps? My face is kind of sticky because I have cream on my face, so don't judge me. Anyways, I was guided here tonight to talk about sex. Karmic sex and spiritual twin flame sex. Karmic sex is like just karmic. Has no meaning to it. You know? Like um, the Japanese out here say karmic sex is chaka chaka chaka. <laughs> it's funny. And spiritual sex is chaka 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 chaka. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? There is one thing having sex and there's one thing making love making with your twin flame. There's two different things. And most of the time when you have karmic sex with your karmic partner, it's just like, it doesn't mean anything. It's just sex. It's not like two souls becoming one or two bodies in one soul. So, if you're about to meet your twin flame or your soul contract, I suggest you to not have sex with anybody. Because if you do, it's going to delay that contract. And the contract will change. Because a lot of divine um, kingdom marriages are happening right now. And God wants the kingdom husbands and the, and the uh, kingdom wives to wait and if you don't, then it's going to change the pattern of your path. And you might not even end up with them. You might just fuck it up on your own. So anyways, um, so anyways, so spiritual sex or sex with your soul contract partner, it's, I was told, it's supposed to be explosive. And when I mean explosive, I mean explosive. So, mm -hmm. and very divine, you know, mm -hmm. so anyways, I forgot what I was going to say. So just good. So just don't be going around having sex with people you don't love. Sex is with, with have sex with people when you're ready to have sex with people, you know? Meaning when you are in love with them, you know? Because you have to be careful who you sleep with, right? Because people don't understand when you sleep around with people or, or not even not even sleep around, when you are in a relationship and you sleep around with your karmic partner, you're sleeping around with their demons because you don't know who the hell they slept with. You understand? And those body exchange fluids, those fluids come in you. So you pick up their baggage. Mm hmm. So you have to be careful who you sleep with. Mm hmm. So the best thing is don't be opening your motherfucking legs, you know? Mm hmm. Wait for the right person, pray for the right person. And for the um, kingdom marriages that are happening, God wants you to, and I was honestly told to make this message by God. Kingdom marriages are happening and um, you're not, when you meet your person, you're not supposed to sleep with them either. Nope. You sleep with them the day of your marriage. Those are kingdom marriages. Yeah. Because they're divinely guided. They're di divinely um, matched, made in heaven. You will know what I'm talking about. Whoever's watching this. Whoever, be whoever believes in this twin flame soul contract. Relationships. Yeah. Anyways. So be careful because 
many wickedness out there too. Be careful who you have, who you exchange energies with. Because you're having sex is changing energies with somebody, you know? And if you exchange energy with the wrong person, mm, you'll know. You will know. You'll feel it. You'll feel the af aftermath of it big time. Anyways, thanks for listening. I'll have to elaborate more on this. Right now it's kind of late here. And I was just told to get to put this out here in a small message, but I'll try to make another message, a longer one, and elaborate more on the explosive part of the twin flame sex part of it, how explosive it is and why it's ex explosive. Anyways, thanks for listening.